Good morning folks. Our baby chicks arrived in the mail today and we've got them in here in their little brooder and I wanted to show you and share our system that we use to cut down on the amount of mess from these chicks. I don't like dealing with messy chicks. I don't like wet bedding. I don't like the bedding that has all the poop in it that you have to constantly pull out and dispose of then add new bedding. Uh, you have the added cost of having to buy those wood chips and if you do a bunch of chicks you can go through quite a bit of that bedding in the course of the year. We built this brooder three or four years ago. It has worked very well for us. It is built around a galvanized metal drip pan that you can kind of see a little bit here between the cardboard and the towel and those two are on there just because it's colder than snot here in in Missouri right now. So we've got those up there to try and keep a little of that heat in. Um, behind that cardboard and towel is some more of that mesh uh, hardware cloth and it's a 3 8 inch square. The, the drip pan we got from the automotive section at Walmart. They were $12, $14, something like that when we bought them. No idea what they are now. But the, the structure is built around that drip pan. We have a little shelf here on the bottom that's got three different support points. No, nope. correction. Four different support points to hold the weight of that galvanized drip pan. And over it is some more of that 3 8 inch hardware cloth. And any messes that those chickens make, the poop, the, the food, the water, goes through that mesh and into my drip pan. And when it gets about half full, I just pull the drip pan out and walk over to wherever I want it and dump it out. It works a lot better than having to mess with those uh, wood chips. Uh, another reason that I like this is it's up off of the ground. I don't like to get into little brooders that are on the ground that I have to struggle to get into because well, you have to protect them from critters, cats and things around here, coons, possum. So it has to be an enclosed brooder. And if you get in the brooder, you're walking through their mess, you're tracking stuff everywhere that you go, you're getting it all over your hands. Because I also built this brooder this way because it's easier to access. It's not down on the ground. You don't have to climb inside of an enclosure to catch the chicks at any point. You can stand on the outside of it to reach anywhere inside the brooder to grab all the chicks when you need to move them. It's just easier for me to access. You're not down on your hands and knees. You don't have to worry about wet in inclement weather. Anytime that they're in that brooder, they're easily accessed and you're not going to get muddy or messy trying to get them. Uh, this has worked very well for us for a number of years. We have raised uh, chickens. We have brought guineas, turkeys, and even ducks up in here. No problem with any of their feet. To help reduce the water and food mess, we have uh, converted our watering systems over to chicken nipples and I'll show you that here in just a moment when I pop it open and this year we've gone to a different type of feeder and I'll show that to you as well. Let me shut this down move the camera and show you what the inside looks like. Now let's see if I can do this without anybody escaping. We just put these guys in here about 20 minutes ago and within two minutes they had already figured out the watering system and was getting a drink. Hey kids. Yeah, don't come out. Now you can see my wire mesh and that's about a 3 8 inch hardware cloth and they're a little fumble footed on it when we first put them in here but after a couple of days they do pretty well on it and we have raised chickens, guineas, ducks and turkeys on this and haven't had any problems. Hi kids. And you can see them, they're getting a drink. It does drip a little bit of water, but it's going down into the pan. They're not walking in it. They're not getting a bedding wet that will then start to stink. Stay in there, guys. And we've been using this three or four years now. I forget exactly. And absolutely love it. Again, you, if you're doing this to sell chickens, you're going to be limited on how many you can put in here. We run uh, 25 to 30 chicks through here at a time and they do well. Uh, ultimately these guys are going to go out on grass. These are Freedom Rangers if you're wondering and uh, 
until they go out on the grass in the tractor, uh, they're going to be fine in here. We do have two heat lamps right now because it's cold. This little unit hanging over here on the door is the thermometer for a digital wireless unit. And we keep the, the display in the house so we can keep an eye on the temperature in here and make sure they're doing okay. All right, let me show you the, the new feeder that we're using. Now, the feeder here, and again, thank you Al at Lumna Acres for showing this to me, but it is designed to make it more difficult for them to get into. Right now, when they're little, they can still get in here, but as they get bigger, they are not going to be able to get onto it to, to scratch cat. Stop goofing. Yeah, I know you want your lunch. You can't have these guys. I'm sorry. They can't get... No. You're going to jump up here and I'm going to thump you. Come on. They can't get into it to scratch it because of how it bells outward. So they won't be able to get onto it to scratch or to get into it to poop. And if they're not pooping in it, there's going to be less waste. If they're not getting into it to scratch, well, obviously there's going to be less waste that way too. All right, there you go. There we go. He's getting the food figured out. And this is how we have less mess that we have to contend with with our baby chicks. If I can find this uh, drip pan on Walmart's website, I'll, I'll put a product number. My local little Walmart carries these in stock in the automotive department. Again, I want to say they were 12 or 14 bucks. I don't remember for sure. <clears throat> But it, it, it's a lot easier. It's a lot easier, or in my opinion, of course, it is less work to simply grab that tray and I've got that cardboard stapled there. Alright, now, so all i got to do, and I can't do it right now because I've got this cardboard stapled down because it's cold out, but that cardboard typically would lift up, I can grab that tray and it just slides out. And all of their mess, anything that they slop, any water, any food, will come out with a tray. I'll take it over to a pile that I've got, dump it out, put the tray back in and we're ready to go. I spend less time having to mess with wood chips. I'm going to have to drop that light, they look a little cold. That's alright kiddo. I spend less time having to mess with wood chips. I don't have the added cost of wood chips, and I don't have to dispose of them after they get them messy and stinky. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, let me know.